Jim. Well, it is Friday, and that means Columbus is getting ready for the big Ohio State matchup against Michigan State tomorrow. And to help us capture that OSU winning spirit, Andre is out in front of our studios today in this beautiful weather with the OSU Men's Glee Club. Don't they sound great? Don't they sound great? Certainly not alone out here. This is only 21 or so of the 66 members. And let's see, what is this number? What is this number? This is Campus Echoes. Campus Echoes. Does that tie you up for the game? Uh, usually. We usually sing in the stadium right before the game to a lot of the tailgaters. Have you ever sung for the team? Uh, we did last time. They, they seemed a little uh, motivated to start singing. Well, not before the last game, right? Uh, no, it wasn't the last game. It was the game before last. They, Good. They were so mad. They, they looked like they were ready to play, so we didn't really push it. But <laughs> we've never actually sung formally for the team, I don't think. This is Dana Thacker we're talking to. He is the president of the Glee Club. And what does it take to get in this club? You have to audition at the beginning of the year, but it's not as daunting as it might seem because a lot of these guys sing uh, My Country Tis of the to audition, so it's probably pretty funny. But most of the group is not music major, and uh, the next 75% of them represent every college and university. It's a really great group. What did you sing for your audition? I got it. That's a winning song, then. Gail and Clark, you could probably sing that, too. Enjoy the Glee Club. We're going to let him sing for a little bit, okay, Andre? Yes, indeed. Ohio, Ohio, will win the game or no? have more so don't go away <laughs> that's right this is the a peak weekend well the osu men's glee club sings some more harmony for us next and tonight's show host jay leno asks for help anybody here with a chart well the harmony is superb and tonight we're happy to have the osu men's glee club with us andre is with the singers and andre i've always wondered uh, how often do these guys have to practice since most of them aren't music majors well you're right they're not music majors most of them they practice about three times a week but uh you can just walk up and try out, and, and it's not that difficult to get in. I'm not sure about Ross Perot, but even he may be able to get into the OSU uh, <laughs> men's glee club. This group travels a lot. You don't just hang out here in Columbus. You go a lot of other places. We go to various states. We go through Ohio. Um, we've been to California. We've been to Washington. And this summer, we're going Overseas. to Wales. Overseas. Oh, yes. We're going to Wales to compete in the Choir of the World concert. Wow. You need money for it? Oh, do we do in a big, hairy way? Oh, uh, <laughs> we're still trying to campaign to raise funds. Uh, this this uh, fall concert is going to be... Uh, at Mershon Auditorium, you can get tickets at Ticketmaster. It'll like be it. right after the Michigan game. So when we celebrate the victory there, we'll come in. We'll be singing with University of Michigan's Glee Club. And we can celebrate a victory on stage as well. But they it's call, a lot of fun. They call that a Glee Off with the Michigan Wolverine Glee Club. How about a little Carmen? Oh, the sheep, the winter's cold, the season's
And we're back with the coach right now. I guess if we're going to talk to him, I better get prepped for this. See if we can try this one more time. Is it down enough? That's a lot better. Yes, that's a lot better, Andre. Looking okay. What is the school spirit? Like the glee club and the band, the cheerleaders. You've always stressed the importance of that. Oh, yeah. Would they, would they sing before a game to pep up the team? Well, I didn't let them near the football team, but they're a big part of the tradition and the folklore on game day, and they're a very bar, uh, big integral part of the university. Uh, it all comes together, and that's why it's Ohio State football tradition. Now, we didn't let them near the ball players because I had a little bit to say about that. Yeah. You had a lot to say about a lot of things. What about Michigan State? What do you have to say about them? Michigan State's going to be a tough ball game. You know, uh, we haven't come out ready to play football yet this Big Ten season, and it concerns me. And any time you have to travel on the road, it's going to be very, very tough to go into that Spartan Stadium and play a good ball game. And I'm, I'm a little bit worried about it and uh, uh, getting real short with you media types because I've been talking all week and it's time to get down to business and get in the film room and really get a game uh, game face on. Yeah. This is a definite... It should be a, a gimme victory, right? No, Shouldn't it be? Oh, no? no, none of them are gimmies in the Big Ten. Uh, uh, I won't use the word they use today, parody, because, but Michigan State, they got us a couple times, even when I coached. No, they're not. A, see, uh, you used to maybe do a little homework about it before you asked them stupid questions, Andre. Did you think that was stupid, Coach? Very much so, and much out of line, because uh, it shows... But Gail told me to say that. It shows your... Well, it, she's a woman. She can get away with that, yeah. <laughs> it shows your uh, misunderstanding of the game of football, but... Uh, Again, you're from LSU, you don't know better. So. <laughs> Especially in recent years, you're, you're, you're definitely right on that, Coach. You can't predict the score. I know you can't do that. But uh, if, if Ohio State doesn't win, how much trouble would they be in? Well, you don't dare lose the first ball game in the Big Ten. You're in a heck of a lot of trouble. You don't, uh, you're talking about a bowl game other than the Rose Bowl, and you don't want to do that. So you've got to win out now and hope that someone else gets knocked off, like Penn State or that team up north. That's right. They happen to play each other tomorrow. And Gail, we've got a surprise for you. Coach, thanks a lot for being with us. You're not the surprise, but there is a surprise for you, Gail, <laughs> when we come back in just a little bit. The coach isn't a uh, surprise? Hmm. He's always Never. a surprise. Coach, yeah. can, can you sing at all? I can't sing. I can't hum a tune in the shower. With that nice uh, high voice? Well, I yell a little bit too much during the week, and I have to save my voice for game day. So you won't dare get me singing in front of that camera. I'll tell you that but right now. But aren't you sure. proud of those boys behind you at Glee Club? Aren't you proud? They do a great job, and that's that's the total picture here at Ohio State. Now, if I can only get the ball players to win, we can put the picture back the way it was back when Arch was here. Gotcha. You got that. Gotcha. Thanks, guys. Thanks, coach. <laughs> Thank you, Andre. And uh, we're giving all of our senses a workout this evening. Music for our ears. And now a feast for our eyes. Thanks to Rob Case and Chopper for tonight. And the colors are really coming out now, Rob. That was really nice, Clark. A feast for your eyes and my feast is on camera. Yeah. What a guy. <laughs> hey. All right. You planned that, didn't you? Yeah. We work. <laughs> and we'll hear more from the wonderful sounds of the OSU Glee Club. My Lord, are you ready, my brother? Oh, yeah. Are you ready for the day? And welcome back. I'm Rob Case, and this is Live at Five on News 4. We're on our way back to uh, Channel 4 right now. We're giving you a tour of what it looks like from the air as the uh, autumn fall colors come into their peak this weekend. We hope you get out to see those. If not, be sure and watch as we go, and we'll have some for you here on the uh, news station. Uh, right now, we're going to go down to Andre for a quick wrap up. One last song. Andre, are you there? Gail, Clark, get in here. They sound so good. They sound better. We couldn't see in the studio. What are you doing, Andre? I'm setting up a chair because tomorrow is Sweetest Day. I don't know if you knew that, but tomorrow is Sweetest Day. Gail, lose the mic. Come over here. Uh huh. Guys, guys, how about this? She's blushing. <laughs> My apple eye, well, well, so you'll be mine. So you'll be mine. <laughs> there we go. Way down yonder in the old cornfield for you. Great. I find we let the honey do the honey bee. Great. They're wonderful. I haven't had this many good looking men near me, and I don't know what. I resent that. I love you. Leave me in the shade. Come and let me whisper in your ear Way down 
down yonder in the old corn field for you. I love you, say